Oh man, I got a bit carried away with my jelly printing this week. <laughs> Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. 100 days of collage. <laughs> you know, that's a bunch. Right, I'm pretty excited. I've got my big gel plate out today. Yay, it survived the move. <laughs> I had it in the car on top of everything. And I'm like, man, nobody put anything on top of my beautiful gel plate because I didn't want it getting dented or banged up along the way oh man we got a bit of a dent there oh heartbroken <laughs> i'll have to flip it over after a few prints this side definitely has some dings and bangs on it oh man <laughs> it didn't survive as well as i'd hoped oh well week four 100 days of collage and we're doing birds and feathers so i'm pretty excited i've got some absolutely new and amazing mask oh, from, from pm artist studio i think i'll just put it by itself and i want to try out these fabulous new masks i'm just going to put that onto golden iridescent bronze fine because uh, my poor gel plate got beat up in the move and I need to get it a little warmed up and a little happier. So we're starting with the bronze, simple one color pull with the fabulous mask, getting all that glorious paint from around it. And we're going to do a whole heap of jelly prints today using the beautiful bird theme with the mask. And then in the next episode, I'll use these beautiful prints uh, for my collage so this is just recycled tissue it's not anything special you, I'm being a little bit careful because uh, the recycled tissue from my hello paper packaging of moving can be just a little bit softer and my um, gel plates a little grabby because you know it just got moved and it wasn't happy about being moved and it got dented along the way <laughs> so there's the beautiful first print of the glorious bird now we're going to do something else with that a bit later once that's dried and that'll be fun i think i might pull the ghost print on some black because i love the black and the bronze it always looks so dramatic and yes, I do like me a bit of drama. So let's pull this beautiful bird on the black tissue. And then I might just flip this gel plate over and see if there's less dents on the other side. Oh man. Righto, that is looking beautiful. On the black tissue, fabulous print with the ghost print there. I'm loving that, that is just beautiful. Okay, well look, we've still got quite a bit of paint on there, so I'm gonna pull that as well. I think that's dry enough to put another layer of paint on. What are we gonna go with? What about we pull that print with some deep matter? This is one of my favorite, oops, colors. That's <laughs> way too much paint. Let's put that on this palette here and we'll use a bit of that later on because i love that color and i definitely want to use it but we don't want that much i think i'll just use another piece of tissue yes it's recycled tissue again nothing special i just have a lot of paper packaging <laughs> Right, let's see how we did getting the rest of that beautiful paint off the gel plate. Oh yeah, it's coming up glorious. And now the plate is clean and I'm pretty sure I need to flip it over. <laughs> so there's that print, that's pretty nice. That'll make great collage paper, yay! Right, so I turned my gel plate over and I'm going to see if there's less dents on this side. <laughs> my poor gel plate got beat up in the move. Now, I was thinking about the black tissue. I love using black tissue. I love the mask that it creates. 
and I want to get a little more experimental. So I've pulled out some interference paint. Now interference paint is coated mica flakes, so they interfere with the light spectrum. And as you can see, or can't see at the moment, when you put them over a light background, there really isn't much to look at. But when you put a dark background on them, then that's when they really come alive. So I'm wanting to have a little experiment and a little play with our black tissue. Right, so I've got some beautiful interference paint on the plate. And you may not be able to see very much of it, but you will as soon as the black hits it. Let's use our beautiful, fabulous, is it a crow or is it a raven? Not sure. But it's a great shape. I love the wings and the in-flight movement of the bird. Oh, absolutely fabulous. So let's put our glorious black tissue over that. And you will immediately see how magnificent this interference paint is. You have to put a dark background or a dark color or put the interference paint on something dark or you won't see it. It absolutely comes alive over a, with a dark background, but when you see it on a light background or you put light colors with it, that's like pretty unimpressive. I absolutely love interference paints. I have used them a lot in my paintings in different aspects and they're a whole lot of fun. Just the different experimentation of playing with the paints and the different effects that you get. See the beautiful colors now? This will also dry a lot more colorful and I'll show you when it's dry and that's going to just look absolutely glorious. Right, our beautiful bird on the bronze. And this time I'm going to use some of these fabulous leaf stamps to create some other shapes. Now I'm going to push them onto the gel plate like that which picks up the paint, there it is. And then I'm just going to stamp it onto a piece of paper because, you know, you don't want to waste all this glorious paint. That would be criminal. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a few beautiful leaf shapes on the background of the bird. This is also a PM Artist foam stamp. Absolutely love it. What I love about these foam stamps is they're so easy to use and instantaneous. Oh man, I love instant. Look at that. That looks fabulous. Hmm. Couple more. Oh, what about the smaller one? Yes. That'll be good up here. And by stamping it onto paper, you're clearing off your foam stamp, but also you're saving all that beautiful paint. And you can use it for collage paper another day. I know, right? It's a win-win. So easy to do. Look at all those fabulous leaf shapes. Now we have the beautiful golden raven. Um, the mask there with the ghost print. How about we put some leaf prints on with this glorious foam stamp. I've got them coming out like the spread of the wings and that is just fun. So how about we pull this beautiful print with some cobalt. Beautiful blue color. Look at that glorious color. Now I've got a piece of glassine that's the right size. So let's try that. Right, let's see how our beautiful golden raven pulls off the plate. Absolutely fabulous. The mask looks glorious in the golden color and you can see some beautiful leaves in the background. Yay! 
Now I have some of these fabulous smaller bird masks from Piamana Studio. Absolutely love them. They are glorious. So now we're going to have a play with some of these. Look how cute that is. <laughs> that is just too cute right there. So we're going to put some of these on the page like that. Let's use uh, this really cool stamp again. Loving the stamping idea. It's really fun. That looks really fun. And then we'll use the ghost print of those beautiful birds to pull another print. All that fabulous Payne's Grey trapped under those masks are going to look just beautiful. What about we try pulling this one with this pastel aquamarine? That could be really cool, especially with the beautiful Payne's Grey of the birds. And I'm using this Japanese washi paper and I hope it pulls up all right. I'm trying lots of different papers and applications today just because it's fun to experiment and you don't quite know what you're going to get until you try so you really do have to allow yourself to try these different ideas even if they don't work every time my ideas don't always work and it's really entirely and completely disappointing when they don't but you have to keep trying that's all there is to it Let's see if this paper pulled up the print of those beautiful birds. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Look at that. That's the Payne's Grey of the ghost print with a little pastel aquamarine. And that's pretty fun. A little bit of ghost print from our leaf stamp. Yay, we could play with this a little bit further. We could add some sprays to the print or we could add some drawing onto it. There's so much more you can do with these prints. Let's see how this pulled up with our beautiful raven on the gorgeous pastel aquamarine. Not too bad. I really like the leaf pattern behind it. That was with the stamps and that's really fun. Of course, there are more ways we can add to our prints after we've pulled them from the gel plate. This one's just on tissue. One layer of the golden iridescent bronze fine. And I'm thinking we could add some spray inks to it. I've got some salvaged patina. Now this golden color does have rather a patina base to it. So this would work really well. Because it's on tissue, I do have the print on a plastic folder because I want to be able to pick it up and move it around, take it off my table, get the next one. <laughs> so make sure if you're going to do something like this and have a spray with some inks or attack your print in some way, if it is on tissue, put it on plastic so you can move it because once your tissue gets wet, you really won't be able to move it around. Now that's just a bit of fun way of adding color to the white section of the print and that should dry really well we can of course add some of the fabulous stamps on top of the print now that it's dried oh man <laughs> it's really, it's really good. i just love these leaf ones <laughs> look how cool that looks that's a bit of fun adds more texture to your gel print and you know if it's working, you just got to go with it. Now I'm going to use these prints from today in my collage 
on Sunday, so I'm not too worried about trying to make my image perfect, as I'm just going to tear it up anyway. But it is really fun. What about some pine needles on this one? What a great name. Now, if you want to know uh, the art supplies that I'm using today, there'll be a link in the description under the video. Tumbled glass. Yeah, that's pretty fun. <laughs> What color is tumble glass? I don't know, man, but it's pretty fun. So you can find everything you're looking for. Just have a little look in the description and there'll be links. There'll be discount codes and yay, you'll be winning. That looks pretty nice. I'm liking that. So what about my little birds? How about some tumble glass? Or oh, some shabby shutters. What do shabby shutters look like? Oh, <laughs> it's all just a bit of fun. And what about our beautiful foam stamp? How good does this look? This was just the taking off the paint when I was doing the printing and I'm loving it. It's definitely uh, autumn, don't you think? <laughs> Enough with the green, man, seriously. <laughs> bit of autumn colour absolutely loving it it looks fabulous so easy to do so much fun and absolutely fabulous collage papers so which ones of today's printing do you like best i had so much fun with these jelly printing techniques absolutely love these masks and the stamps are so much fun so which one shall we use for the collage on sunday yeah i don't know yet You'll have to come back and see what I decide on and I hope to see you then in the studio.